Um, Nellie Bly, also known as Elizabeth Cotrain Seaman, um, was born May 5th, 1864, and died January 27th, 1922. Bly was born in 1864 in Pennsylvania. Her father, Mary Twice, uh, Mary Twice had 15 children total. Cotrain was number 13. Her father died when she was only six years old. Thus, she faced um, financial hardship, hardships, and she um, was never able to finish higher education. Instead, she helped her mother run a boarding house until her first break as a writer. At 18, um, Cotrain, under, under a pseudonym, submitted a response to an editorial piece that declared women's only purpose is for birthing children and housekeeping. The editor of the Pittsburgh Dispatch was impressed and ran an advertisement seeking the author's identity. Um, Nellie Bly <clears throat> became a regular writer for the Pittsburgh Dispatch, and the editor helped create her renowned pseudonym. Uh, Bly often wrote about women's rights and even posed as a sweatshop worker to expose poor working conditions for women. However, her ideals were not liked by the factory owners, and thus Bly was reduced to writing for a woman's page on fashion and society. Aspiring to be a, uh, for better subject material, Bly moved to New York. She committed to a job with Joseph Blitzer's New York World under the condition that she go undercover in an insane asylum, thus becoming famous for her expose of the deplorable conditions of a woman within the asylum. Working for Polit uh, Pulitzer, Bly became a spearhead for new journalis journalism or sensationalism, as well as investigative reporting. Often, Bly would work as a stunt girl for the New York World, including circumvading the world in 72 days. The era of new journalism and investigative reporting emerged in the late 19th and early 20th centuries in the U United States. The shift in journalism focused on personal narratives and vivid descriptions of events. The movement was driven by the desire to attract readership and sell newspapers, and it fundamentally transformed the nature of journalism. Joseph Blitzer and his paper, The New York World, promoted this style of journalism. Thus, Nellie Bly and her undercover reporting of the woman's asylum became the new blueprint for journalism into the modern era we know today. New journalism was characterized by a focus on the personal experience of journalists themselves as well as, the, uh, as those of their subjects. Writers like Nellie Bly were known for their immersive reporting techniques, which involved spending extended period, periods of time with their subjects and reporting on their thoughts and feelings as well as their actions. Bly's major <clears throat> expose on the mistreatment of patients in the Women's Lunatic Asylum of Blackwell's Island in New York City brought national attention to the issue and promoted much-needed reforms. Bly's condition Contributions to the field of journalism had a lasting impact on the industry. Her investigative reporting and willingness to take risks set a new standard for journalists. In addition to her contributions to the style and pace of journalism, Bly often wrote and advocated for 